totally not what you think it is. This was a little... Don't actually know what it is. I think it's a Vivario or a Vivaro. I think. This small, little one. Anyway, friend of mine, got a van. Been lying up for a while. As people do, they leave them lying up. Battery's gone down to... I think it was registering two volts. Um, won't charge up, it's dead. He's got no electrical hookup. So today, I'm going to be putting them a 240 hookup in, a consumer unit, a couple of sockets, new battery, a new water pump, um, a split charge relay, so because he hasn't got one in, when he's driving, it's not charging the battery. Right, as you can see, it's a really basic setup. Um, Uses it for weekends, going away, little rock and roll bed, little cooker, stove, you know, washing area, some storage, and that's about it really. Just a small van to get away for weekends, which suits him down to the ground. People don't need massive vans if they just want to go away for weekends. Right, so in there, that's where his cooker is. You can see there's a few cables that are just sort of knocking about. His battery is at the back up there, so we're going to be changing that. We're going to be putting some sockets, I think. I'm going to go for some sockets there. And then we're going to fit them some sockets there. Then pull them all back into the rear. The 240 hookup is going to go on the back panel here because it's the flattest panel. And we're going to have to put a stopper in there so the door can't open all the way, which to be fair, that's all the door really needs to be open anyway because you've got the kitchen there and he does use that door more than this side door as well. So I think first of all, get the hole put in there, get the actual hookup point, get the hookup point put in, then run that to the consumer unit which we will put inside the cupboard here. So that will probably go on the wall up there inside the cupboard nice and accessible and then we can run off from that to the actual switches they're the plug sockets that i got him um, just two plugs a couple of usbs on them as well and we're going to be fitting them in with drywall units which are there these are brilliant um keep all cables tidy put them in put the actual front on and then all the cables out the way just come out the bottom to your consumer unit and you're safe you're not going to be banging cables on the back or getting things out the way and they'll go into anywhere so we've got two plug sockets two drywall socket boxes consumer unit has inlet for his 240 split charge relay two new battery terminals blue cable for a connector never enough with new battery 120 amp hour on and a few other bits and bobs as well right time to make some holes I do like making holes <laughs> right, got the hole in for the hook up and I'm now just going to pass the cable which I have put ferrets. I don't, what does he call ferrules? I don't know. Them things there. They just help. What they do is when you put a cable into something that you tighten it up and a screw comes down to it, what happens over time is the movement, right, it breaks all the little strands. So all the little strands on the cables that you can see sticking out there, it breaks them. But if the screw is pushing onto this, it's not gonna it's not gonna break. So that's the reason that I use them. I pulled enough cable through there, I can wire that now into the consumer unit, and then I can get that mounted on the wall, and then I can just pull off for the actual sockets that are going in the van. But get this mounted first and then plug it up to the mains check all the breakers work properly so we got the consumer units in there that's just wired in now and uh, we've not got any of the plugs coming off it yet but that's in there and i've got one of the holes cut in there i could not come any lower than that because there's a trunken that runs there for the tambo door so that was as low as i could come yeah it's not in line with this one but there's kind of nothing you can do about it these are basically drywall boxes for sockets. Um, you, it's that simple, you cut the hole, you have these two inner wings, which are there. Um, it basically slots in just like that. So you've got the wood there, and then what these little 
wings do is they snap in like that and then you pull them forwards and what happens when you put your screw in there it pushes the whole thing in together pulls this front in and pulls that back in so they're both on there same as the back we put the connections on there squish them all up and then we can then just basically get them in the right holes so negative positive and if you've never seen the back of plugs before they do state on them n l and then you've got an earth as you can see the earths are both connected so it doesn't matter which one you go into so get the earth in nice and tight then the neutral and the live neutral is your blue and then get the live in So then we can just fasten these to the front and then that's this socket already done. Give them a tug, they're all in fine. Don't forget when you are tightening this up, it's squishing the back plate. So don't go crazy because don't forget they are plastic. Then we can get the face plate. So there you go like i said it's not in line with this one but we can't that that was as low as we had come because the tamper door runs up to like the bottom of this here and then you've got the lip on it so that one's in you've got to put another one up there and then we can run the cables all through and get them all into the consumer unit and all tidy the way <laughs> right how far have we got well we've got sockets in there We've got sockets in there. Now, yeah. just a case of basically. What the fuck was that? I heard a noise. Consumer, can you womb it? The consumer unit is all there. Got all the cables for the sockets there. There is the back of one of the sockets there. I've just put some trunking down the cable, then I've gone in through, and then I've come back out where the actual consumer is going to go so none of the cables are really going to be on show apart from a little bit there which is not going to do about that the hook up is there don't like the way that door comes all the way back you don't really want this coming back here when there is a there's going to be you know a cable in there that coming back that's no good right next thing you got to get this battery out and um get the new one in. I am not meant to be in cupboards this small. Honestly. Oh. Right, as you can see, it's only a small battery. These these are kind of old. They still work, still fine, but they're like old school. Um, and the reason you've got these two wing nuts on the top is to basically stop people doing stupid things like this. Right, now, that is the positive, but we can all clearly see that that's a black wire. So interesting electrics. Um, um, the, the same on there as well. It's just you've not utilised the posts for what they're meant for. Now take that one out. That one's going in, and um, we'll tidy these cables up. I think. Why? Why do people do that? Yeah, you know, it's only twelve volts. It won't. Uh, it won't go bang. Yes, it fucking will. There's really no fucking reason for them to be on there at all, if I'm honest with you, because they ain't doing nothing. There we go. Oh, that's got a cable under it. Yeah, you know, yeah, cable under it, just wrapped around it. Great. And people wonder why they have fires in vans. That's the reason people have fires in vans, is because they do things like this. That is not acceptable. That is a bit more acceptable, but you've gone to the... Why didn't you, why didn't you just put it on there? Yeah. Right, that's that one out. There's not much in it, but it's a bit of a mess. Right, give it a bit of a hoover. I'm not giving it, it's not, you know, it's a hoover. It's not a valve. Right. Get this other battery in. We're taking those off. Um, we're changing it to them. 
putting them on. They're much better. Right, that got a bit late last night. Um, and I woke up this morning and I feel like I've been run over by a tram. Yeah, a tram. Everyone's been sick around me. And I've managed to um, to not get sick. But, you know when you just feel you're getting sick? Everything hurts. <laughs> I don't know if it was because I'm trying to shove this mass into, you know, holes like that. Could just be that. I don't know. Right, what have I done? Got the 240 hook up in, got the consumer unit in, got all the sockets in, wired up, all the cables tidied away. Um, there's a man up in the sky here in a, in a zoomy thing. I don't know if I can show you. Look at him go there. Woo! Anyway, right, 240's all in. Um, <coughs> I took out this. just a thing it's just a it's an old-fashioned thing look at that but it wasn't even connected to the main battery that it snapped off um, some of the wiring in this van is a little bit sketchy um, and I, I know it wasn't the guy it's not the guy whose van it is it's somebody else uh, but I'll tell you what I do like and I've just found these and I've never seen them before so it's cable ties with um with a little loop on it built into the cable tie i've never seen them before they're fantastic yeah i don't need that right <clears throat> so that's come out and um, he didn't have a way of charging the battery up his so his, his leisure battery <laughs> while while he was either on the move or solar he's got no solar or, or nothing like that it was, so it was just a leisure battery and that was it i know so once the leather battery had died, that was it. Game over. No way of charging it. Um, I'm presuming that thing is like a an old-fashioned come from Noah's Ark split ray, split ray, split lay ray, split. What is it? Split. No. Relay split a split split re, split. Split charge relay. Split charge relay. Yeah, that's it. Split charge relay. DC is a DC charger. <sighs> anyway, I told you I'm getting sick and I've not long been up, so this is um I do apologize about this section of the video. It's just me mumbling at a load of crap that's kind of not even making any sense to me. So the battery's in, I have fitted a split charge relay there. That's gone in, um, and that goes basically underneath the van in trunken and it goes to the battery which is here um, I have temporarily mounted that because I just need to check everything um, to make sure did have an absolute faff with the uh, battery connection as well when I come up when that come off it all decided to fall apart like literally fell apart in my hands um, how it was staying on the battery I don't know yeah beyond me anyway so that's in I'm um, just going to connect that up to the battery now, uh, but before I do, I'm going to crank the engine and make sure that we've got the right amount of charge coming out of it before it connects it up to the battery. Engine is on. Let us just check with the multimeter what we've got going on here. So, as you can see there, we've got 14.5, which is really good, to be honest. 14.5 going off the alternator in. Positive in there, split charge relay is there. That will be the cable to go into the battery. Find an earth, I'll do for an earth. Right, we've got 14 point, 14 and a half volts coming out of the split charge relay, which will then, that cable will then get connected to the leisure battery that is in there. First of all, let's check this breaker. Right, that shouldn't be putting a voltage in it now. No, there you go, that's, that breaker is working fine. Right, that's that done. Connect that up to the battery. Under there, there was all sorts of cables under there, right? Um, one of them was the main, well, one of them was a, a positive wire. I've just clipped them off with some Wagos there to make them safer. But there was a positive cable coming out 
and basically knocking around where the gas connection is, which is no good at all. If you do follow me on Instagram, uh, you will have seen that last night. It was a bit sketchy. Right, that is the um, split charge relay all in. Also changed his water pump as well because his water pump was uh, snapped right there and it wasn't doing nothing. Right, um, I need to talk about water pumps now. These water pumps basically just go into a bottle and they suck water up. They're great. The problem with them is, right, people get the wrong size pipe. And then when you put the pipe on there and then go up to the tap, right, they put a Jubilee clip around there. A Jubilee clip submerged in water. You will tell by, hopefully you can see, just on there, right, that, it's rust, right, and that's rust off the Jubilee clip. Don't put a Jubilee clip on it. Like, don't, because it's going to rust. It's sitting in your water. And I know loads of people will go, you know, but I'm only boiling the water. It doesn't really matter. The trick is, Get the right size pipe. Another trick is warm the pipe up before you push it on. Don't try and force it on there. Warm the pipe up, then put it on, then let it cool down. And 9.9 .9 times out of 10, it will be fine. Just don't put a Jubilee clip on it. Just don't, because it's going in here. And there's enough crap going in here without you adding to it. I mean, it's not a vaccine. Water pumps done, split charge relays done, 240 hookups done, sockets are in. Next thing, he's got a bit of trim up the top, which has come off, and um, he can't do it. Oh, he can't get the stereo working either. It's not picking a radio station up, so we'll have a look at that. I'm hoping the fact that the stereo aerial, the, the radio doesn't work, is that it won't have a radio plug in it. A little goosey. Right, that's a ground wire. Why that's off, I don't know. Oh, it's a bloody mess, isn't it? That's the curious one, is why this... Why this earth cable is off. Oh God, we've got all sorts of cables going on here. Right, <coughs> got the stereo. Got that all working. Um, I think the problem with it was you've got some of these cables here that were actually grounded out to earth um, and it was just knocking the whole system. I mean, you, you got bare cables all over the place, which is just not good whatsoever. So I think I've just got to tape all them up, get them all out the way. That channel doesn't work. Ah, shut up. Right, that's working. Next thing, we've got this piece of trim here which has basically just fallen off. So I'm gonna chuck that up and then um, tidy away this absolute mess here. Right, there we go. Electrical hookup, consumer unit, two lots of plugs, new battery, DC to DC charger, split relay. I don't know what it's called now, split relay charger. Um, all in, new water pump. So got water pump sorted. Radio sorted, um, say a full day's work, well, a bit over a day, um, which isn't so bad. It's all in, it's all nice and tidy, all works, and it's, uh, it's now all clean as well, which uh, is a bit of a bonus. Being a funky little thing to work on anyway, um, so yeah, I can go out now and I can, um, the battery can be charged off the um, engine because it wasn't getting charged at all off nothing. So. Good job. Right, I'm going, because um, I think we'll get away for a few days. Don't know where. We'll let Emma decide. Right, catch you later.